Okay, so morning time, day, day one. So first full day back here. I was like going to change at about ten o'clock into day two, which is about the time we got here. Right, let's have a look at our stats. Okay, I'm going to be thirsty, so let's get something to drink. I'm probably going to need more than that. Let's uh, grab a coconut. Let's get uh, a little bit more liquid into us. Oh yeah, I figured out how I got the stone tool. I did uh, actually craft that in the last episode. Oops, wrong button. So let's just use the durability up on this a little bit. Nice drink of that. Okay. Right, so there's a few things I think we need to be getting on with on our first day back. The water still will look after, there we go, another drink, will look after itself. Let's top that up. There we go. Oh, a storm, great. And we're going to need some food. Now we have the fish over there. In fact, while we're at it, let's uh, eat some coconut. What I'd like to be doing is exploring the other wrecks that are on this island. See what other loot we can obtain. There's a couple of items I wouldn't mind finding. A bit of leather or cloth could be quite handy. Okay, no, wrong button. Sorry, people. Okay, why won't the inventory come up? There we go. A little rusty. There's been a bit of a break uh, since I finished off the last episode and the start of this one, so apologies while I just familiarise myself with what's going on here. I remember most of it. Ah, that's the other thing I need to consider. So I have a tarp. I could upgrade the campfire to a smoker. It's the best way to cook food. You can put five on at a time. I mean, I can upgrade this with a spit, and that will allow me to cook over the fire and one on the spit, so two. Um, or I can put a smoker up, and that will allow me to put five meats up. That will cook the meat, just like uh, any other uh, mechanism will. Uh, but it also has a second stage, and that second stage is uh, once it's cooked, leave it for longer, and then it will end up being smoked. Once it's smoked, it won't go off, so you can store that. So it's quite handy when you know you're going to be travelling around you need to be carrying some food because you won't have time to stop and uh, hunt for food. Speaking of time, 11.38 and a storm. Right, what wrecks have we got around here? What have I got on my personage? I don't need those things, so let's get rid of those. They can all stay up here. If I need more lashings, I know where it is. stone tool, what's in these? Let's put maybe that in there. We'll keep everything else we have. So we do have some leather. Um, right, back to the tarp. We we're talking about the smoker. Very useful cooking tool. The other useful tool, however, is the tool belt. And that needs a tarp and a lashing. And that will allow me to store my tools, um, either the knife or the axe in this instance, into uh, the tool belt, uh, which is effectively a hot bar. So just press up on the D-pad and you'll automatically pull the tool out. Uh, save time going into the menu every time. And I think the more I think about it, I don't need a smoker here at the moment. I think tarp is the way forward. So I will need to craft a lashing. Now with the tarp in view, a tool belt. Okay. This will also... Oh, that didn't last long, did it? It's a storm. This is filling up quite nicely, so I shall take advantage of that. I only wanted one more. Very good. Maybe the rainwater actually tops it up by a little bit. So we were going to be looking at wrecks, and let's... Okay, so we have a wreck there. We have a wreck over there. 
Well, when I've got the tool belt, what this will allow me to do is add an item to the tool belt. So now when I press up on the D-pad, X comes up straight away. And releases a, a space. If that's the wreck I think it is, I'm not overly enamoured. I think that might be the Polynesian ship, and if it is, then it's out deep-ish. Let's have a little look. You can always get lionfish. I'm sure I'm not alone. Or I am alone. Let's have a look. Yeah, and it's half buried in the rocks. Okay. I'm going to freak out on that one another time. Let's go and have a look at this other wreck we've got. I want to see what goodies are loot. <laughs> if I can find some cloth, then I'm actually going to can build the second stage of the tool belt, which will be very handy. Also, just trying to check, make sure we don't have any other friends around here. Ones with lots of teeth. Just going to wait for my health to uh, stamina to increase. Okay, looking out for the purple pricklies, let's go and see what we can see. Relatively shallow. I saw him. Hold the crikey mollies. Okay, we're not alone. You don't look like a tiger shark. Certainly not a hammerhead. I think he's a white, uh, great white. Where'd he go? Oh, air. Yeah. Okay, so we have a great white in the area. Avoid the purple thing. Sea urchin. Uh, sort of changes plans. I'm going to have to take him out because there's ultimately I'm looking to take my little dinghy raft and get off to one of the bigger islands and. If he's in the sea harassing me, he'll just flip me out. So, I'm going to have to take him out. When the day's getting on, okay. If it gets too dark, I won't find him. I won't see him at night. However, I'm going to need wood. I'm going to need spears. Can I actually craft? Yeah, I can craft those. I remember I've got one over there. Okay, let's take out a tall coconut tree. Let's see, well, they're not that tall, but it'll do. Let's get the wood from this, break it up, turn them into spears. I'm going to need ten, I reckon. Although, my physical skill is probably... Let's have a look. Yeah, not much to speak of, so I've not got much in the way of hunting. So yeah, it'll take a few to hit him, actually. So four and a stack for spear, so let's see if we can get 12 then. Alright, that's disconnected from the palm frongs, which I can use for the water still. Come on, sticks please, thank you. I'm going to need sticks anyway. There's a few trees I could take out for sticks. are going to be spears though. There really isn't much on this island. Well, you're coming down too then. I'll need some for uh, firewood later as well. I don't know if I'm going to get these made up in time and take the shark out. I don't want to get some spears into him and then have to wait till the next day. Chances are he'll have been fully healed and the spears would have disappeared from being impaled in his body, so... I'll end up having to start all over again. So I'm not going to start it unless I know I can finish it. 
bit of resource gathering. Okay. And we're going to need... Oh, we got some food. I was going to think maybe we needed more food. We've got four fishes already, so maybe I don't have to waste time catching any more fish today. I didn't sleep last night. Um, in this game, you don't have to sleep every night. You can quite happily go um, a day, a night, and a day. If you go much longer than that, then you tend to wake up on the third day and you, it says you're tired, which means you can't run. So it is probably best to sleep every second night, which is generally what I do. So this will be the second night, so I'll need to be sleeping tonight anyway. Oops, pick up, not jump for joy. And looks like some of these palm fronds are back, so gathering these is not going to be a waste. Yeah, see, it's going to get dark tell by the light. By the time I find him, start chucking a few spears into him, it's going to be pitch black. He's going to be a waste of time today, but uh, he will be tomorrow's uh, project. Is there something in there? No. Do I have a spear on me? No. I could make one, but he got out of the way. Let's make sure the fire pits uh, got enough wood. Help if I press the right button. Okay, we'll put a couple of pieces down here. I don't know how many I've got. So I've got one in hand. Okay, eight down there. Two there, that's ten. Eleven. Yeah, spare one more. Okay, let's get the fish and let's get those gutted while I can see what I'm doing. So let's drop those. I tried to choose an area where the ground covering wasn't so bad that when I dropped these I couldn't see them, but I always tend to drop them by the fireplace, so I should always be able to find them. Disgusting. Disgusting. I didn't want that. I wanted that. Alright, let's get this going. This day went super quick. I don't feel like I've really achieved much. Okay, we'll let that cook up. I'll do the rest of the fish as it goes along. So, with the food, leave it in its uh, fish form. And all the, the meat will last forever. Like that, we'll smoke it, and then the smoked meat will last forever. You obviously can't eat the raw fish, but rather than cut it up into, uh, into the meat pieces, and then leaving the meat pieces to one side, uh, they could go off, so that would just be a waste. So, pretty much skin it when you're ready to eat it. Well, cook it first, and then eat it. How are we doing on the still? So we're full on that. So let's, mm, let's get completely topped up. How many of those did I grab? No, I want those. So I'm going to break this down. Swing on this. We'll use these to keep the water still topped up. Try and save on things like the fibrous leaves to make lashings if need be. Right, that's fine. Food will be cooked. Stats are not so bad. It's getting dark. I have to contemplate going to sleep. I do want to make these spears before I uh, do so, though. So, one spear, two spears. Three spears. I'll make that eight. That ding was the food being ready. Why is it etch for every time you do this? Let's see how many I've actually got. Uh, eight, nine, one over in by the camp, ten. I am going to make two more. Oh, one in my hand. So 
uh, oops. It gives me 10 there, 11, so one more. Okay. So let's go get the spear. Where did I put it? There. And I didn't have a fishing spear, I don't believe. No. No. So I do need a fishing spear for tomorrow. And sure, you can go there. There? Drop. Where do you want to drop? There? Fair enough. Let's put these fiber sleeves over here, try and keep organized. And then the wood. Oh, I ended up using that wood. Okay, so. I would end up with more wood than I was going to get. Alright. So, not a lot more we can do. Oh yeah, the food was ready. We can eat the food, that would be a good thing to do. And let's prepare another one, not with an axe. Skin this fishy. Oh, it's disgusting. You'd think you'd get used to it by now. It's only gutting a fish, mate. Off they go to wherever it is they go. At least they're not fluttering around me, harassing me. Okay, so a quick check. We have 12 spears. That should be enough to take out Jaws. Although he's only a small jaws, but he's still a great white. Or a big shark with big teeth. It'll certainly hurt me. Camp-wise, we've got still a few stones, tools, wooden planks, not meaning anything at the moment. I do want to do that wreck. I am going to have to take out that shark. Food-wise, well, that really didn't do much in the way of food replenishment, did it? I might have to wait and get this one eaten. Coconut. Why is it with this jump for joy? Dessert for the main meal. How has that helped? Two away. So we'll eat this one. I'll get another one cooking. There'll be enough fire, firewood left. It's, it's a nice tall coconut. Um, coconut tree, that one. The spears, I would have needed those anyway against the sharks, so it's not a waste turning those into uh, the wood into spears for that. Let's eat that. Nice. Got one more so that we can have that ready in the morning. Oh, it's disgusting. That one going, it's probably going to waste a bit of wood to be honest, but time wise, 9 o'clock, I should get up nice and early then if I sleep now. Alrighty, so that was a quick conclusion, we've got a shark out there we need to do, we have got this sorted out, I'm going to save. Actually, thinking about it, this is probably a good time to talk about the cartographer, uh, the map of the world that we're in. So let's have a look at this. Go to the world editor, I can move around in here. Uh, so first thing you'll notice, it's a bit of a 5x5 five five grid. And we start in the middle, which is the uh, red square. So red around an actual island is the island you're on. The other red squares represent the end bosses and the way out. We already know where the way out is because we can see it from our island. So that's the red square here, up towards the one square in from the north. Um, the other bosses, we'll have a quick look, see what we've got. Luska the Great's there. In fact, we've got two of them around us and the way out around us. The Great Abia. So the Meg's up here. Okay. 
The other thing to notice on a cartographer, especially when you're using the compass in game, moving around, uh, is where north is. North is not straight up, north is actually here on the top right. So bottom left for whoops, south. Up on the top left for west. Bottom right for east. So when you're on a particular island and you're looking to the east, you'll be looking at this particular square. I can't highlight the square from there, can I? Um, okay, so if you're looking, I guess, northeast, then you'll be looking at this island here. Um, I'm actually looking at this island. It's one of the larger ones. Um, these are smaller ones. So you get small islands and larger islands. I mean, they're medium to large, so... Um, that's the one I'm looking at. It'll be right next to the way out and next to a boss fight as well. Got another good island between two of them here. and We've got one up here, which could also be a boss fight. So either of these two islands, I think, could do a good job for nothing. Right, this one and this one. So when I'm talking about taking the raft and leaving the island, it's, it's probably off to one of those two. From there, if I can start getting materials for a raft together, I can then expand by going off to some of these other islands from this side in order to get more materials to increase the size of the raft. Or if I go up here, some of these islands. So my leaning is probably this one. Don't know why. Um, maybe it's a gut feel. Uh, we'll see. So that's the cartographer. The other thing to bear in mind is that there is a current in the game. Um, the sea will flow from the north to the south. So when you're approaching an island um, or you lose something, uh, like your raft, then it's going to drift off to the south. So depending on where you were, if you go to the island that's to the south of where that you lost your raft, then you'll probably find your raft again. Um, losing your raft is not a good idea, but actually looking at these bosses, south of every single one of them is an island. Okay. From what I hear, you can't use your um, your anchor out in the open sea, so you've got to try and wedge your raft up against the boss island. I haven't done the bosses, so this is just uh, what I've read. So if you lose your raft, it's going to drift south, which will be quite handy, because I'll know where to go to find it. Okay, so I just wanted to show you the cartographer, let you know the sort of the map we're playing. Um, I use it, and I use the compass. In fact, I actually draw out a 5x5 five five grid, um, number them from the top running to the right, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, and then coming down 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, number them all up to 25, and I'll keep a separate list if I hit an island and there's resources on there that I'm not dragging back with me that might or could be potentially useful down the line. Um, or just some um, statistics about the island, you know, number of yuccas, whether it's got any other fruits, any other plants that I've uh, not collected um, or, or picked, and, um, you know, what its uh, sort of wood quantity is going to be. You're not really going to hit an island and completely strip it unless you make a huge uh, raft for it, and by doing that in the last game, that's what was creating uh, the issues for me, so... Uh, hence why I'm playing this one and trying to do it in a slightly skinnier version. So speaking of skinny, were these bosses so close? Okay, alright. It should be quite fun. But anyway, just wanted to tag that onto the end of the video so you can see the sort of the world that we're playing within. Um, and it might help with, you know, some of the, the things I talk about and uh, I'm looking to do. But generally speaking, I would like to visit every island if I can. Um, but you, know, you pace yourself for the game and it decides it's going to throw other obstacles in your way which can sort of slow and delay things. So we're just going to see how it goes. Um, but I will be visiting a lot of these islands. And just to finish off, there is one other thing you can do with uh, uh, these maps is you can create an island. So within here, I think you've got the option somewhere now if I'm creating islands, um, I'm able to delete an island and replace it. There we go, bottom right hand of the screen, replace island. So I can create an island that has certain resources on it. So if I become um, desperate, I guess, for certain types of resources, I can always take one of these islands once I've visited and stripped it and uh, replace it with another island that could have either a lot of coconut trees on it or more rocks or lots of clay, 
not quite sure where this journey will take us other than we're trying to get uh, and complete the game um, without having to complete everything else other than what's necessary to in order to complete the game so that's an option we can do down the line I have in my last play got a couple of the um, created islands the one my main base is on one and I have an island nearby that I just basically keep stripping for resources I said I would just build way too much it's way too big rafts too big uh, game has uh, problems uh, saving and crashing so I'm giving that a break I'm looking to avoid that this time so whether I'll be showing off any custom islands on this particular playthrough I don't know um, if there's a demand for it then let me know in the comments and uh, I can think about uh, showing you a couple of created islands what do they look like they're not as nice as the islands that you create here uh, but they're relatively functional okay anyway that's it for uh, what the cartographer um, has to offer I think on the next one when you come back it'll be the morning we'll be hunting a great white and hopefully exploring a wreck so a uh, short one this one hope you enjoyed it um, if you did hit the like button if you'd like to see more you can subscribe or just look out for sylvan plays all right everybody thank you very much for your time that's it for this one Please